In this video, I would like to share five uncomfortable truths about parenting with you. And the truth is, if you don't have kids, you might watch this video and think, why did that lady have children? And if you are a really good parent, you might watch this video and think, thank God I don't think this way about my children. But I suspect that some parents and some people who hang out with kids might watch this video and be like secretly, hashtag same, secretly hashtag same. five uncomfortable truths about parenting. Why did that lady have children? Here's an uncomfortable truth for you. Hanging out with babies is boring. That's how I feel sometimes too, Zai. We don't have any of the same hobbies or pastimes or preferences when it comes to topics of conversation preferences when it comes to TV shows. And not only do we have like zero overlap when it comes to what we like to do in our spare time, there's also zero compromise in this relationship. We do none of what I care about and everything of what they care about, which is not really true because you don't want to do this. I know you don't, I'm sorry. That's what you want. That's what you want. what you want? I don't care. And I wonder if any other parent knows what I'm about to show you because this is the, to me, saving grace of pretending. That's an incognito AirPod. This is my pipeline to joy and entertainment while I do the things that keep these babies happy. And usually when I have an AirPod in, I'm listening to Audible. And let's talk about that for a second. This video is sponsored by Audible, my number one used app, because if I take my kids to the park, I'm taking Audible. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you are interested in. Best-selling audiobooks in every genre, exclusive Audible originals, popular podcasts, guided meditations, and it is all in one convenient place. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep for their entire catalog forever, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Plus, members get access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days. All you gotta do is visit audible.com slash shambooty or text shambooty to the phone number 500-500. That is audible.com slash shambooty or text the word shambooty number 500-500 to start your 30-day free trial. Watch to the end of this video for my recommendations on what you should do with your free trial. Here's an uncomfortable truth. I know as parents, we're supposed to be the pillar of security, of sureness, of confidence. But the truth is if you have even the slightest bit of anxious attachment in you, they will bring out your crazy, your clingy, your neediness, your fear of abandonmentness. Because I know that there's this thing out there that says that children provide you with unconditional love. But the real truth is, there are a billion conditions in which govern how much these kids like or love me from minute to minute. The last time I fed them, the last time I said yes to them, the last time I said no to them, or just the look of my face on a particular day. The way that my kids love me ebbs and flows constantly, which can put you on an emotional roller coaster of neediness. And the more embarrassing thing than that is not only do you desperately want your kids to like you, something that you are auditioning for in every moment, you also want other people to see that your kids like and love you. And every time that you wanna put on display how much your kids love you, you wanna show everybody that you are a parent who is valued and revered 80% of the time your kids are gonna embarrass you. One of my greatest goals as a parent is to give my kids the space and the luxury of just being. And that includes sometimes not being that excited or enchanted by me. And this is a lot more difficult than I would like to admit that I brought kids on this earth, not because I needed someone to love me, but sometimes it would be genuinely nice if they did a little bit more more publicly, more clearly, more consistently. All right, it's about to get really real right now. Here's an uncomfortable truth. 
when the babies are acting crazy. And this right here, this ain't crazy. This is decimal five on the barometer of craziness that can possibly occur. When they're really acting crazy, it is so incredibly difficult not to pinch them. I'm not proud of it, but daily I give myself a TED talk on why violence will not solve my problems because pinching a crying, freaking out baby will only make this baby cry and freak out some more. But violence is bad, isn't it? They said so on TV. Not violence. Violins. Violins are bad. Piggybacking off that last one, another uncomfortable truth is that hanging out with kids makes you hella childish. And you get this like in the normal way. You talk in a baby voice and you're like really excited with the things that they're excited about and you play what they play and you do what they like, but you also problem solve the way that they do. You childishly mimic and mock them so that their tears, which previously were frustrating to you, now become kind of funny to you. Mimi, you wanna turn around and go to sleep? Come on, let's spin you. Let's spin you, baby love. Let's spin you, you sleepy peepee. -pee. So one of my daughters is very active and very aggressive and also very affectionate and very snuggly, except she's both of these things at the exact same time. So cuddling with her is kind of like trying to hold on to a rotating bag of elbows and knees. It's as much as you want to like enjoy the moment and be into it, it's extremely, extremely uncomfortable. So this one time she's snuggling with me, but like also elbowing me in the chin and like kicking me under the ribs. And so I get so fed up that I start doing it back to her. And on top of that, in the most childish voice possible, I'm like, how do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it when I do this? How do you like it? But the sad truth is she liked it a lot. And the final uncomfortable, obnoxious, cliche truth about parenthood is that it is everything that you hear. Yes, all the bad and all the complaints, but mostly all of the incredible, life-changing. I just have so many crazy moments where on a Tuesday at 3.36 p.m., I'm like, this is the best moment of my life. Oof. To all the parents out there or people who love children who have given me advice and reassurance, thank you. It has really just made all the difference for me. It has been my beacon of hope. It's been my lighthouse. You have been there to assure me that I'm not alone, I'm not abnormal, and that I'm still capable of being a good mom, even if I don't have the perfect feelings around motherhood all the time. Thank you so much for that. It's been a game changer, and I deeply love and am indebted to you for that. Okay, if you have watched this far, I suspect it's because you were hoping that I would say the thing that you're thinking. So why not just say it yourself? In the comment section below, tell me one of your uncomfortable truths when it comes to the children in your life. Also below, as in, in the info box below, is where you can get a direct link to sign up for Audible for free for 30 days. And with the holidays coming up, now is the perfect time to start listening. You can get an audiobook to listen to over Christmas. Plus, you can listen to all the freebies from their Plus catalog to get you ready for the new year. Here is what is in my library that's going to get me through this wonderful season. What will you add to yours? Go to audible.com slash shambooty or text the word shambooty to the phone number 500-500. That's audible.com slash shambooty or text the word shambooty to the phone number 500-500 for 30 days free at Audible. Thanks for watching.